What's up guys, how you all doing? Cosmic Carry here, bringing up a World of Tanks video, and today I am rolling out my Cromwell. This is the first commentary that I'm doing in my Cromwell Tier 6 uh, British Medium. And I did originally unlock this tank about a year ago, I would say, when I was grinding out the American Mediums. Uh, just, just for a change of pace, and I did not like it. I thought it was way too fast, way too light, and um, it, 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 nah, I didn't like it. I thought it was, it just, it, it just didn't work as a medium, and uh, <laughs> that was one year ago. You know, one year has passed. I'm a completely different player, and I fully appreciate the fact that wargaming like to put in tanks that are challenging, and you simply have to figure out what are their strengths and put those strengths to good use simple as that and with the Cromwell its main strength is its speed the thing that irked me and cheesed me off when I initially rolled out in this thing is actually its biggest strength the armor is nothing to speak of the gun is okay pretty decent very low alpha damage but the speed if you can use the speed to your advantage especially in uh, games like this where it's a uh, tier 8 tier Tier 8, Tier 7, Tier 6, there's a lot of slow tanks out there, and I'm in a quick, very quick tank. So if I can put my strength, uh, my main strength at the forefront, my speed, I can cheese off a lot of enemy players. I can, yeah, <laughs> I can have a lot of fun. And I have to apologize, I've already uploaded some gameplay in my Cromwell, and I didn't do commentary. And this, this game should have come out first, truth be told. Because of the fact, I cannot stress how fantastic a tank this is. It is not just a keeper, but a like a must keeper. You have to get this tank. You have to get this tank. It's only tier six, so it's pretty easy to get. And um, it is a fantastic tank. I have such a great time. But but you you need to play this uh, tank smart you need to use your brain you need to play well because that speed can get you into a lot of trouble it can most definitely get you into a lot of trouble so in initial stages of this game i thought okay scout 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 if i go over to the hills you know th th there's nothing for me over there to do so to speak so i thought okay scout for my team on the on the forest flank but there's not enough of us here you know there's not enough of us here there's just a there's a there's a heavy there's two, and he's being obliterated as we speak there's two scouts and myself and that's it so this flank is about to completely collapse and i know it i know it. it's only a question of time so just try and get some shots on target and i do i managed to get quite a few nice shots into the t-34 and this is as well is3 and uh, but i know you know when it's time to leave it's time to leave <laughs> yeah, you know and right now there's only one scout left that's it nothing else so i fully realize okay it's time to leave it's time to get the hell out of dodge and that's exactly what i do before i leave i highlight the area for my team i tell <coughs> Artie, get the hell out the hell out of dodge but he's got tunnel vision he's not listening and um but it having said you know that it, it is encounter you know it's not the end of the world that that flank has collapsed but the enemy you know they've got a big advantage five to eight it is just the initial stages of the game but truth be told that this stage of the game i wasn't feeling too good i wasn't feeling too confident i was looking at how my team's positioned I was thinking about that, uh, the, the fact that you know there's a whole bunch of reds in the forest coming towards us, and it was just like mm. I saw these uh, platoon of Borsigs with their 150 mils, bad accuracy, not that great pen. I'm sure it's a buttload of fun to play in those tanks, but nah. And behind me is a tiger, and in a matter of minutes, all these guys will be dead. <laughs> they will be all of them will be dead in a matter of minutes and as I pull back manage to pen me I'm on three quarters health not the end of the world but they still got a big advantage six to nine there's the tiger four six up ahead and we're being pulverized so I decide okay it's end game time 
and this is what I normally do when I know we're gonna lose. I go for Ari. You know, no, nothing against Ari. Don't hate Ari. I just, yeah, you know, I kind of roll the dice and I try and kill Ari. That's what I usually do when I know we're gonna lose. Seven to eleven. I mean, come on. Up here is a Cromwell. I look at his health. I look at my health. I do the math, and it basically plays out exactly. You know how I think it's gonna play out. He, he gets two, two shots into me. I get two shots into him. I've got more health than him though. <laughs> at the start of the little encounter, so I survived the battle. And um, and I move on. I get a nice free kill on that Cromwell. So I get two kills. I saw where the arc, the Ardy arc came from. I know exactly precisely where Ardy is. So we're gonna lose, but I got two kills. I got two kills, and those two ball six and a tiger are dead. All that's left is a, um, a Soviet TD, an Easy A, and myself. And that's it. And that's it. And here we go. End stages of the game. This is completely what I was thinking. I pull back up here, and I'm assuming all the bad guys are going to come barreling down to attack me. I look where my compadres are. Can I get over there? It, yeah, it wasn't my pro priority. My priority right now was just evade, survive, cheese off uh, the enemy players. And th that was about it, you know, that was about it. They start capping our base, of course, of course. So, okay, buddy, you want this kill? Come get it. I'm going to use the terrain to my advantage. I'm going to use my speed to my advantage. Up ahead is a, a Soviet heavy. I know he, he's slow, I know he has bad accuracy, nah, you're not going to get me, neither you or that medium are going to get me, if you want me, you're going to have to earn it, <laughs> and it's as simple as that, but as I, you know, the, the Ruskies, he's going, uh, he's going downhill, possibly maybe ca catching up with me, but you can see as he's turning towards me now, he's slowing down, that's because he's going uphill, so I, I just need to make this ridge up ahead, because look, to my left is the medium, the Rusky is behind me, need to make this bridge, and lo and behold the Rusky plants a shot into my track, but luckily for me I haven't used my repair kit, good to go. Okay, so we're just under half health, we lost the easy A, my TD manages to take out their TD, so now it's 12 to 13, Ooh, something's going on here, I was thinking to myself, just hide, 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 you know, use the, the, the terrain, use these houses and and just see what happens and I was kind of scratching my head saying to myself, I'm supposed to be dead and we we should have had a defeat by now and <laughs> so what's going on? And lo and behold my Soviet TD gets another kill. Now all that is left is that medium that was chasing me and the Soviet Heavy, I think it was a Super Persian and uh, an IS-3, that's all that is left. So I repeat my move again, and I, uh, my options here are kind of limited, I've got a low alpha damage gun and I'm, I do have the TD on my side and it seems as if he's going towards the enemy base, but the, the two enemy players are tier 8, you know, this... Uh, I've got 274 hit points, but I've got speed on my side. I, I'm in a Cromwell, you know. That's, you know, that's big time, you know. If I, if I play it just right, so I'm hugging the terrain. I'm in the forest, um, you know, concealing my tank as much as possible. Maybe I can, you know, spot the targets for my TD. And lo and behold, the medium, the Super Pershing, gets lit up. Now, I've had a Super Pershing. I eventually sold it. I know, I sold the premium tank. It was just too slow for me. Aha, uh -huh. a slow tank versus a fast tank. But, um, so I load up premiums. And I'm ready for a fight. You know, I am ready for a fight. I want to pin, but I know my alpha damage is you know, nothing to write home with that. So, just play this cautiously, don't let your team down, don't let the TD down, just be cautious and careful, and just see how it goes. So, 
I positioned myself on this hill. The Super Pershing was just in front of me on the other side of this hill earlier on. The Soviet Heavy is nowhere to be seen. My TD starts to cap the base and I'm thinking to myself if I could at least distract the enemy players into possibly maybe chasing me or something like that we could cap and we could win and lo and behold they start to cap and at the same time Super Persian appears and look I get one shot into him and his health bar has been removed. and right now I was hoping chase me chase me chase me chase me and at the same time I was saying I need to get possibly maybe you know just one shot into the heavy but he, he leaves the base and look what's happening the medium is chasing me and the heavy is chasing me <laughs> exactly what I want and I was saying to myself oh my god I can't believe this is happening go ahead both of you chase me shoot at me kill me I haven't got a I couldn't care less <laughs> but you're doing exactly what I want <laughs> you do be doing and uh, you don't seem to understand that I am a distraction people that uh, underestimate the power of distraction distracting tanks in order to get a secondary job done and the secondary job here was to win the actual match and lo and behold we win and I roll out in the open brazenly ballsy saying yeah, you want to take a pot shot at me? Go ahead. We win the game. Outplayed, outsmarted, out whatever you want to call it. I haven't got a clue. Good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cromwell. What a fantastic tank. Take it easy, guys. I did send a GG message to the TD, and he sent one back to me. Take it easy. Adios, muchachos.